All right, guys, GoToBoy32 here, checking out. So I'm sitting here in my home office, just finished up printing out my DHS travel papers, babies. And I was looking at my email of my good friend, SoCal, WTF SoCal, lives out there in California, sent me an article that was uh, sent out about two hours ago. The coronavirus, LA County, Sheriff Villanueva allowing gun stores to remain open. But strip clubs, nightclubs, must close. That's an interesting article, and it was interesting, the, uh, the quotes that came straight from Villanueva. Now, here's a couple things that stuck out to me other than just, you know, here it is, L.A. County, but now it's backing off plans to close the gun shops in the county, saying he's more concerned of enforcing social distancing and slowing down the panic buying rather than closing stores. Okay. On Tuesday night, the Sheriff's Department announced on Twitter the enforcement efforts to close non-essential business have been suspended in any case, he says that decision is completely up to Gavin Newsom, or uh, the California governor. Okay, so uh, here are some things that really stuck out to me. Okay, so this is it. Those that are involved in the security businesses that still need to do their business, we want to make sure they're properly equipped. However, that is not a license for everyone to do panic gun buying and rush into the stores, which is now what we're seeing that violates the issue of social distancing. Later on, we're going to talk about this one gentleman who's of Asian descent, and he owns a gun store, and he's basically saying, well, that whole thing is total bullshit and it's completely racist. Uh, Villanueva singled out other businesses for violating social distancing guidelines, such as strip clubs, saying that he will be ordered to close. Okay, so what he basically did was he put gun stores in the same arena as strip clubs. Uh, totally different there, Villanueva. Villanueva. Um, <laughs> hold on one second. Uh, the sheriff also announced in order to mitigate the risk of spreading infection throughout the jail system, the department will be releasing people with less than 30 days left on their sentences. So let's get this straight there, sheriff. You uh, are preventing people from going out and purchasing a gun, and you're releasing prisoners. Same thing New Jersey's doing. That just, it makes perfect sense. I could absolutely see this. Hey, let's, let's release the criminals and prevent people from uh, purchasing firearms uh, to protect themselves. It goes further, and I can't wait to show you this. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, 1,700 inmates have been released from the L.A. County jails. All right. Over the past several weeks, people have stocked up on weapons, ammunition, and skyrocketing sales. Um, <laughs> here's another one. Bill pointed out to safety concerns due to the combination of new gun owners and more people at home under state and local at home order. So he's concerned about the new gun owner's safety and being able to handle a gun. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, we've received complaints from particular business and not been adhering to the social group distancing. It's unclear when any business will be ordered to temporarily to close their doors. Villanueva said they have not issued any citations to businesses for violating the order. We will target businesses. Okay, to the uh, owner, the owner of Gun Effects and Cloud9 Fishing in industry said his sales have recently doubled. Our staff is not accustomed to this kind of rush. Uh, we think blah, blah, blah. This is many customers at Lynn stores are Asian, he said, and some of them are buying guns out of fear of being racially targeted because of the origin of the coronavirus. Just people discriminate. Here's the kicker. Down here, the last line. Meanwhile, police departments have been forced to pare down their operations with some agencies only responding to emergency calls. So let's, 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 get, let's, let's catch on to this logic here. You've got a sheriff who's concerned about new gun owners going out and buying guns. But in the same token, they're going to go ahead and pare down their efforts to respond to emergency calls. What does that mean to you? It means to me it's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. These guys... They're trying to pick and choose their rights, and they're trying to figure out which ones are more valuable and protective to them as opposed to you. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I thought it'd be a pretty cool video. Hey, guess what? Olight's coming out with a sale, and we got a new tack pack box over there. You know, it's the ritual monthly thing. We just got to do. So go to Boy32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform. And this is who I'm talking about. Who support and enforce our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers, not some jackass from L.A. County, Villanueva. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.